Greetings, Jay. Hello. Hello, hello. All right. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I got lots of things for you, even in the catacombs too. So let me start by saying, I'm sworn to you. Hi, everybody. I thought I'd start off today with a little song. Um, no little dance. Just got back from the chiropractor earlier, so I'm really, whew, kind of loosened up a bit. Loosened up a bit. Anyways, everybody, how are you? Ace, greetings. Eliza, halt, greetings. Hey, everybody. Hi guys. Oh, it's great to see all you guys. How was your guys' week? We're halfway through the week. It's Wednesdays. It's time for the catacombs here in the Solar Nation. And I got some cool stuff for you uh, today on the catacombs. But first, I want to tell you guys about some things we've just announced. Like the David Harrigan Artist Celebration! Where's my rubber? Cowbell in there. All right. So first things first, let's show you guys some of the stuff. David Harrigan and Brian Polito are offering their signatures on items for free. A limited number of David Harrigan remarks will be available on select items for a $70 upcharge. We will randomly insert 10 David Harrigan Plague No More World Tour 2021 shirts, courtesy of David. When you place your order, enter your t-shirt size in the order comments and you might receive one of these limited Lady Death shirts. I have one of these. I freaking love it. That's an awesome shirt. That is so cool of them to offer. And here's some of the cool stuff we've got for those editions. First things up is the Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss Naughty Metallic. I have made these. They are beautiful. They are all ready to go for this weekend. It'll be $100, limit one per household. Just five David Harrigan Remark copies will be available at launch, priced at $170. Um, let's see, it's gonna be a 28 full color, 24 pages, metallic front. There will only be 77. There will be no sensor bar. This product is strictly limit one per customer per household. Duplicate orders may be canceled. Next up, we have Lady Death Scorched Earth Control Virgin Art Collection. This is a $25 book. Um, again, just like the other one, just five David Harrigan Remark copies will be available at launch, priced at $95. This beautiful. Beautiful. And there's a hollow version of this. There's 150 of the um, Virgin Art Editions, and there will be limits, so be warned. <clears throat> of course, with my printout, it cut off my limits, so haha. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Yes, I believe this one's going to be a limit of three. I could be wrong, so if I'm mistaken, please correct me. Anyone correcting me? Dude, Jay, congratulations! I didn't even get to show that. <laughs> You guys are fast on the draw. All right. <laughs> uh, next up, I want to show you the Lady Death Scorched Earth Hollow Foil Edition. Of course, it's in black and white, so it's not very holorific. <laughs> I think I made up a word. Um, stunning, stunning piece. Um, it's $77. Um, premium hollow foil cover, limited to just 40 serial number copies, because this is going to be very limited. Five David Harrigan Remark copies will be available at launch, priced $147. This product is strictly limited to one per 
Customer per household duplicate orders will be canceled. And of course, we've got the um, official Remark editions. And these are going to run you $2.99. And again, it has the really cool fancy comic, um, coffin area so David can do his uh, Remark right there for you. And there is only going to be just limited to 10 copies. It'll be $2.99, so refresh, refresh, all this stuff goes live, 9 a.m. this Friday. So this Friday, here's some of the uh, samples of some of the remarks. Um, of course, these will be in color. Haha, -ha, they are beautiful, beautiful books. Um, next up, probably one of the most popular um, Harrigan pieces he did for us, um, is going to be the Rockabilly one. And we have a Virgin Art Edition for $25. Uh, there will just be five David Harrigan Remark copies that will be available at launch, priced at $95. This is a full color book, 24 pages, limited to 150 copies. Um, yeah, so all those who remember the Rockabilly one, yeah, there's going to be a hollow foil version uh, a remark version. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, and here's what he's done on some of these rockabilly ones. He really stylized these um, the official remark editions. Um, uh, it will feature the official remark branded logo with a casket remark area uh, with the cover printed with Strathmore bound paper for the best results. Each copy includes a unique remark by David Harrigan. Um, there is a limit of 10, order limit of one per customer per household, and I love that he really kept the Rockabilly style on this one. They're all like really retro, kind of cool pinups. I absolutely love them. Uh, there will also be a David Harrigan Naughty Angel hollow foil as well. Again, there are limits on these guys. This is the uh, Naughty Angel. This is what the hollow foil and the Virgin editions will look like. Very pretty, very pretty. Yeah, get the VIP newsletter. I ran out of color ink on my printer, so we got to order some more. So uh, I try to print these in color, um, but these things are big. And not only that, the VIP uh, link should be right there. Go ahead and click on it, sign up. You'll get everything up to date here at Coffin Comics and some very cool stuff we'll be doing too. So again, there will be a All Hollows Evil Naughty Witch Virgin Art Edition. And yes, there will be prints. For all you print lovers, 11 by 17, there will be prints of these available as well. There's gonna be a Naughty Witch Hollow Foil and a Virgin Art Edition. Um, the Hollow Foil will be limited to 40. And of course, censorship bars will not appear. Here's some of the examples of the remarks he's done for the uh, Naughty Witch. Really beautiful pieces, guys. This is really nice. Hi, Ace. And there will be a David Harrigan collector's box. For all you folks who have been wondering about collector's box, well, there will be a David Harrigan one offered on the weekend. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to see what these look like finished. Uh, for the prints, you're going to have the Rapture Naughty Heaven. You're going to have the Death Lady Death Control. Lady Death Rockabilly. And these will run you $16 each. And you can get signatures on them. And the Lady Death Witch, uh, which will also be $16 and 11 by 17 And we just announced today the Comic... Shop Market Edition. Who is messaging me? Oh, my daughter. Um, La Muerta, number one retaliation. Local comic shop editions are coming your way. This is the standard cover. Boom. You say, it looks better in color, I know. <laughs> and there will also be a Mama Z edition. Premium foil edition, a raw edition, and... See what else, Richard T. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there's all five covers right there, guys. These are amazing. 
There will also be so many pretty things coming your way. I also want to say thank you, everybody who backed us on Kickstarter. That was insane. Um, Mike McLean had some of that moonshine, and uh, apparently it was really good. Um, I've had some before. Whew, that stuff is smooth, but it'll kick you in the butt if you're not careful. So, real quick, guys, before I get started with the catacombs, uh, let me just go through here. Ashley Martinez, hi, how are you? Um... Oh, no, bud. Let me know which one you were looking for. I'll see if I have any extras, okay? Let's see. La Muerte is everything. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Thank you, thank you, everyone, for joining me today. So let's get started with some of the beautiful things I found for the catacombs. A lot of these are very... Only a couple of them, and that's about it. Some of them, there's only one. So let's get started with... I was very happy to run across two of these. This is Lady Death, The Reckoning, revised edition. Yes, I found two so far, only two. Boom, and these are signed by Brian, and there will be a COA. So this is the origin story of Lady Death right here. I only have two copies, I'm so sorry to say. Two copies. No captions this time? There's captions on these shows? No way. Really? All right. I didn't know that. Let's go ahead and put this up there. Thanks for the heads up, Ashley. Ooh, let's set that right there. Make sure that looks pretty. That looks pretty. Yay, good. I actually got a good shot. Next up, I found some number ones. I was kind of shocked. I didn't think I have any, but this is Medieval Lady Death, War of the Winds, number one. Have about... 14, 15 of these, and that is all I have left. Once they are gone, of course, they are gone, unless I find some more. I've actually hired a help, some guy that goes really deep into the part of the catacombs I don't want to go into because it's too dark, and I got to do a lot of digging. So I hired someone to do some digging for me. <laughs> Next up, this was the book that got me hooked. On all things Evil Ernie and Lady Death. This is Evil Ernie, Youth Gone Wild, and all these copies that I have left are signed. There is three of these left. The one that started it all. Right here. So, if you've been trying to get um, the origin of Evil Ernie and the earliest appearance of Lady Death, well, there it is. Only three copies available, I hate to say. Hi, Bob! Bob's in the house, everybody. Ashley, can you hear me now? Please say yes. <laughs> oh, wait, are you at work? <laughs> I know some people watch it uh, with earphones on and stuff like that. Bob, it's good to see you here as always. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I tip my hat to you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, also, thank you for uh, being a participant in our um, uh, our little con we did uh, this what, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, God, two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Thank you very much uh, for being a part of that. It was a lot of fun to see the glimpses of the videos on Saturday. So always good to see you, and thank you for always participating. Next up, I have Merciless Onslaught. Death Raven uh, Edition Mock-Up. This is another wonderful homage by Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer. I've got the one available for you. Woohoo! Let's see. Catherine, Karen, Karen, hi, how are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for joining the show. Okay, Ashley. <laughs> okay, I will project my voice for Ashley so she may hear it. I apologize if it's annoying. Okay, here we go. Next up, another beautiful mock-up for you. This is Lingerie Smile. This was a really popular one when we offered it. Gosh, was it late last year? I don't know. The last two years have been a blur. <laughs> I go right here. 
Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want you to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble. Um, never want that. But it's always great to see people uh, uh, watching the show uh, while at work. <laughs> Especially when uh, Jay will pop in like, oh, shoot, gotta go. And then he comes back because <laughs> something happened at his job. So um, thank you, everyone, for spending your lunch uh, time with me. It's noon here. I can't wait to get some food in my belly after this. Next up, I have Lady Death Hot Shots. This is Sister Death, and it is a number three edition. So far, this is the only one I've found uh, in the vault. I'm hoping I can run across some more. Um, I may or may not, so yeah, we'll see what's going on. Hopefully, uh, I can find some more. Probably end up being APs, maybe a BP, but I almost doubt it because that's a really stunning image. And I have yet to see it. And it's done by David Harrigan, of course. Oops. Right there. Right there. Okay, you want to slide a bit, then, then you can slide. There we go. We'll just, I don't want to mess with you. And then I got another classic. This is Lady Death number five. You're the harrowing. I only have four copies. Um, here they are. Uh, these were on eBay at one time, and I just took them all off. I had a lot of people asking about classic stuff. Well, I'm putting them on here for you guys when I find them. So this is the first part of the Harry. This is the Lady Death Monthly number five. Yeah, okay. Another classic from the Chaos Era, and I only have three copies of this. This is Lady Death, Dark Alliance. This is issue three. I only have three left. I wish I had complete runs of some of this older stuff, but man... I'll be lucky, so hopefully uh, when I'm able to find the box of my old uh, chaos stuff uh, in my storage unit after I'm done moving, um, <laughs> I can uh, bring those here and put them on the show for you guys. I know a lot of people are need to looking out there for some old chaos stuff. And um, here's one beautiful, beautiful book. Um, this is the Lady Death. The Reckoning Commemorative is signed by Mr. Stephen Hughes, Jason Jensen, and of course, Brian Polito. So this is the only one I was able to find. Um, I think uh, Jay scooped this up. Ho! Oh. So there you go, guys. The classic right there. Beautiful book. Next up, this is a Don McTeague Autumn Mock-Up Virgin Art Edition. I have one available. And I remember the mock-up, COA. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little hectic, you get pulled away from doing catacomb stuff and forget to add the little COAs. So if you on one of those, I apologize. But I always try to run out when the orders are being pulled to grab some stuff. Next up, another number three. This is Lady Death Moments. This is an Odyssey Jeweled Edition. Number three. Schwatzky Crystal, Schwatzky Crystal, Schwatzky, I can't say it after all this time. So, I got number three, and it's Jewel Schwatzky Crystals. All right, let me see what we got on here. Let's see what we have here. Uh. Okay, let's see, Ashley. It's actually scheduled a break, so it's... You know what? Yeah, you should be able to take a break once in a while, and if you're going to spend your break with us, Ashley, well, you came to the right place. I hope you have fun, and you have a wonderful group of people here watching with you. Everyone's friendly, everyone's lovely, and damn it, there's a reason why they are the Sworn and the Fiends, because they are beautiful people. Never met a bunch of people that are so lovely in my life. Yes, keep the ear in. Yes. Oh, you got a book signed by uh, Francesca too, dude. I did not know that. Spill a surprise. Yeah, on um, that that was fast. Um, Jay, I, I gotta say that was really fast. Um, I didn't expect that to last at all, and I'm glad that uh, I know you've been really trying to get a lot of the classic stuff. So. I'm glad I could hook you up. 
Next up, these are the last stuff I found for these editions. This is Malevolent Decimation. This is the Lace Edition. I believe I have like four or five copies left, and that is all she wrote. Once these are gone, well, they're not here. Unless I run across something in the vault. But these are a warehouse find. These are the last four copies. Uh, for any of those who are not familiar with the catacombs of CCSN, I will present old stuff, new stuff, and stuff that's like, oh, wow, look what we found. These are the last two or three uh, copies we have. So try to throw that stuff out there so you guys can scoop it up and add it to your collections. Again, if there's anything uh, you would like me to hunt down, thank you for the wish list um, that I got last week. Uh, I might be able to track down a couple stuff uh, for a couple of y'all. Uh, for the rest, like I say, it's going to take me a little while because i got to catalog the vault. And boy, is that going to be a heck of a job. Next up is another uh, warehouse find. This is the last copy. It is signed. This is Lady Death, Warbringer, and the top card. So thank you, Dakota Reese, um, for finding this so I can present it here. Uh, Dakota uh, works in the background. She is Brandy's daughter. And she is really amazing at finding some of these onesies to you know, last few stock and bring them here. So a lot of the scratch and dent you see, she'll find and bring it to me and to my attention. So if you guys could give a shout out to Dakota, um, round of applause to her. She also helps out on this show. She loads everything and tries to get everything on time. And she is just a heck of a great person to know. So if you guys could give a shout out to Dakota, please. She does a lot of hard work for us and I don't think I could have this fun of a show uh, without her help. So thank you, Dakota. I appreciate it. Who else do we got here? Eric Hart. Eric, I might have found something for you. I'll message you once I uh, am for sure. But I think I found something on your list. And uh, I'll message you to uh, let you know if you're interested or not. Oh, no. Eric, here, this is for you, so you have a better day. Whenever you're feeling bad or blue, do this and do this and squeeze with all your might. Y'all got a hug for me, all right? Anytime you're feeling down, think about that person. Hug them tight. Hug them tight. Everyone, let's give Eric Hart some, a lot of good energy, a lot of uh, love and appreciation um, so his days uh, goes a little better. I'm sorry you're having such a rough day, man. Uh, wait. Good. Whatever I can do to help you guys make your days better, I'm willing to do it. I mean, who else dresses like weird characters to sell you comic books? Yeah. Next up, these are also the last of the last. I have La Muerta Vengeance hardcovers. These are from the Kickstarter. They are still sealed in their shrink wrap. And I have two copies that were signed by Brian. Pretty COAs. So, I'll set these up here so you all can see it. These are the uh, lovely things I have for you guys here. Uh, thank you for joining me today. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to try something I haven't done in a long time. Well, actually, Dakota's tall. Like nine feet tall. Um, yeah, Dakota's D D Dakota's a tiny little thing, but she's got length, man. That girl's tall, and she's got a great sense of humor too. She's a hoot. Yeah, everybody, let, let's give Eric all the positive energy he needs. He's having a rough day. Let's let's just keep it going. Let's see what I got for time. All right, I'm gonna try something real quick. Um, let's see if I can get it to work. Let's see. No, I don't want to do that. Let me see who I can bring on camera with me. I haven't been able to do this in a while. I want to try it out because I miss talking with y'all. All right. Let me see. Is there any? You know what? I want to bring Karen on. Let's see if uh, I can get Karen on. That's if she. A lot of you at work, so I know um, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So I want to. Kind of just see if it's going to work. I haven't done this in a while. 
Uh, I did it a few times. I'm going to take this off. It is warm in here today. <laughs> I'm glad I can do something to entertain you and de-stress you. Are you ready for this? This is your laughing moment. Ooh, I'm making change. Shimmy and shake. I'm making change for y'all. How was that? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, hey, you're on. Hi. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, great. I hey, can hear guys. you. Usually it goes dead. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's so good to have you on. Tell everybody about hey, yourself. Hey, nice. <laughs> well, you don't need to be shy. Everyone's got their shots. What's he going? What? what? I hope so. I'm just re oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get the volume up. <laughs> so tell us where you're watching from. I'm watching from my living room. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Where are you from? What part of the world are you in? Um, I'm in Canada. Canada! Oh, I've never been yep. there, and I want to go really bad. So if you want to pack me in a suitcase and ship me out, please do. I want to check it out. Sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're welcome here anytime. Thank you. Thank you. So what, what got you into Coffin Comics and all of this fun stuff we do? Well, um... I've been a Lady Death fan for a long time, um, but I got into it kind of late. Like, I got into comics really late, mm -hmm. actually. And then, back in the '90s, I was <laughs> already already an adult, and <laughs> um, I was actually into fantasy novels and fantasy art. And one day, I came across on the internet um, this image of um, Dawn, the Joe Linsner's yeah, Dawn, right for Dawn City, yeah, and yeah and so that was my beginning of the uh, comic collecting and then that led to lady death <laughs> for for many years i was in kind of a limbo i didn't um um and then i found um cyber fiends on oh, uh, yeah. facebook and i've been here ever since right on. Well, welcome. <laughs> loving it i i love hearing these stories because it, it's it always fascinates me um you know, how did people get into the collecting? Like for me, um, you know, my parent, my dad was into like, my mom and dad were into Star Trek. Um, I had a teacher that knew I had reading problems. So she got me those old uh, easy reader comics with Spider-Man so I could learn to oh, read. Nice. Um, <laughs> and I just had uh, my brother, my father's guitar player who was in his band was a huge universal monster fan. And he also had comic books. so. He would take yeah. me to some of the early conventions and stuff like that, and introduce me to all the monsters. Oh, nice. I loved it. I loved it. And the next thing <laughs> you know, uh, I hit 21, and I'm doing this as a career. So, yeah, this industry Great. is a lot of fun. It is crazy yes. fun. And For sure. One thing I like about this industry is it, it there is so many types of people that are into comics. Um, Young, old, uh, oh. middle-aged, I mean, all... It's amazing. It's like one of the biggest melting pots of people I have ever seen. <laughs> Absolutely. And I've met some And I find it here with Swan too. Yeah. I, I, I found this group um, ever since I got hired on at Coffin. I have just never met a group of people that were just the most welcoming and just so accepting of others and just like, hey, what can we do to help you out? What can we do to get you yeah. your collection? I mean, I saw people were having problems with someone, you know, was helping them with their Kickstarters. It's it's a really great community to be a part of. And, and I hope. Oh, it sure yeah. is. <laughs> oh, Jimmy's typing stuff. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Yay, Canada. It is never too late Yay, to join Canada. the Coffin Burst or Lady Death <laughs> for that matter. So what yeah. in your collection is probably your holy grail or have you not found it yet? Um, I have a few that um, I've recently been able to get. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> He's been pretty much getting all my grails. <laughs> That's great. No, because I know, um, I know uh, Jeff is just is, looks for anything he can get. I was just like, geez. Um, I'd yeah. love to see photos of his collection because I'm sure it's massive. If I be yours <laughs> with it, it's probably double so. Yeah, well, it's pretty much mostly for me. <laughs> <laughs> so it became like a, a, a husband-wife kind of uh, a fun thing to do on your off time. <laughs> well, yes. He actually um, hasn't been into comics for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And he saw 
how much joy it was bringing me and how much joy this group was bringing me. And he got tired of all the crap, you know, um, all the drama and crap on Facebook. So he decided to, hey, I'm going to check this group out. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. It's a great group. Really great group. I love it so much. <laughs> and I can't wait for S'more and Fest. <laughs> Me too. I can't wait to see everyone. Tons of hugs for everyone. High fives. Um, I'm sure some libations. But <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll have to prepare myself, get myself ready for that. It's like, all right, I got <laughs> yes. uh, I think months. we all do. Yeah. yeah. It's like, everyone, <laughs> bring up your tolerance to alcohol. Because, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Last at the uh, Steam Fest we did, it was just nuts. It was absolutely nuts. I had never seen, and I did New York Comic Con, and that was crazy. I've done San Diego Comic Con, that was crazy. Yeah. But I never had a booth get attacked uh, like we did at Fiend Fest. I just, just wow. like, I, I thought, I was like, I'm a pro at this. I've done cons, I've done it all. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I, I never witnessed anything like that. And I'm sure Sworn Fest is going to be even crazier. Uh, and I'm probably going to be doing a lot of running around, going from one end to the, oh, booth, yeah. the other, helping y'all. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to seeing all you. Um, before I wrap it up, is there anything uh, you want to say? And then I got a question for you. Sworn. Yes. All right. <laughs> Here's my question. You ready? Lady all Death. Right. Versus Hellwitch. What team are you on? Oh, team Lady Death. Oh, sure. we got another one. <laughs> we got another one. Well, right on. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope I didn't scare you. Yeah, thanks for having me. On camera. I know some people are like, no, no. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you very much for joining. I'm glad this worked. I'm going to try to do this uh, more on my Wednesday show so uh, everyone can get to know everyone a little bit better. But thank you very much for uh, accepting my invite to join me today, Karen. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Well, that's going to wrap Alrighty. it up here for me today, everybody. Um, I just want to say thank you all for everything uh, you have done. And, you know, Coffin Comics uh, was built from you guys. So I applaud you. Thank you very much. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. I'll see you guys Monday on the CCSN on YouTube at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Austin bye bye everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. And... <laughs> God bless y'all. Asta. <laughs>